Okay, today I'm going to tell you how we bring back the dead. I would start with our world and one word, extinction. Extinction is not just a death of the animal, but a type of creature, because it means that this animal or this species will not exist on this earth at all. As I work with the Philidae family or the cat family, and they are the top consumer of the wild ecological food chain. How extinction happened with the top predator? Because over the top is us, humans. With the increasing of human population and also our activities, so we destroy the forest and also the habitat. And some activities like hunting, so to leading to the rapid reduction of this family. Why one fourth of them have gone extinct? The remaining member of the family are facing extinction. Seven species of them are classified as endangered species by IUCN. For example, I believe Ming. The scientists predict that they might extinct in the next ten years if we do nothing. So, can we help them? Genetic preservation should be an answer. We know how to collect the semen or the sperm from the live animal, right? But how can we collect from the dead one? It's possible to do that by collecting sperm or so from the transportation duct. The transportation duct is the the tube that connects between test tube until the the sperm go outside. But nowadays they collect only one part that the sperm prove a match to us. So our research, we want to know that it is possible to preserve more sperm from other regions of the transportation duct. And we found that it's possible to preserve from the body because the sperm are similar from the as the, from the tail of the transportation duct. So they match to us. They can produce the test tube to them. And they can preserve in liquid nitrogen, so we can preserve as long as we want. And we found that if we preserve together body and tail, we can increase the number of the sperm about 40%. So remember, the more sperm we got, that means more chance we can produce the offspring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, uh, Thank you for this presentation. Uh, I think you had a very good title. The, you caught the attention. I really wanted to see what you were going to tell us about. Uh, and I think the presentation also made it very clear that what the work you're doing is very important and that you are uh, on the on, on the right track, as you say. Um, so maybe there, in some slides, there was a little bit uh, not too much. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, I think you you made it clear what what you wanted to say. Yeah. You're another one of my disciples. I remember you from of course uh, a year or so ago, and uh, I'm glad to see that you've learned. But it, it feels that there's a little bit too much information in the slides. And there are too many different graphic objects in there, which you might like in the group. Which is uh, obviously because this is such a fascinating subject that we could restore extinct animal species. Uh, but you're a confident performer and. Uh, Yeah, I, I really <laughs> also really fan of this all the time here, but uh, I, I wrote down here that it felt very well prepared, and clearly you, you feel very strong for the subject, and I, I, I like to see that when it comes out in the industry and how, how you perform it, that uh, it means a lot to you, so uh, I think that was very, very good. Thank you. Okay, Marius, collect, collecting the uh, goats over there, and you've got your phones up and ready. So, please. 
votes for Melissa Lyon. Thank you, Dean. And we got a seven, seven, and seven from the jury. Please say. 